Randleberg with lovethatyacht.com. I'm in front of a 100-foot fed ship. We have just listed it. We're getting ready to get on board it. We'll walk you through it. These are legendary voyaging yachts, and I can't wait to get on board. So contact me, Randleberg, love that yacht. I'll get you on board, and be sure to hit my subscribe button. Thank you. So we're on the dock, and this is your uh, fed ship, 101 foot. She's crossed the Atlantic, then most of the Pacific. This is a voyaging yacht, steel built, ready to go pretty much any place the way it's set up. Lots of waterproof doors, heavy duty equipment, uh, great engine room, phenomenal salon. Uh, but it does need some TLC, needs the bright work done, needs some metal work done. Lots of rust has to be removed. Look at that arch for your radar unbelievable this is your sun deck and i would make that my dining room it's an enclosed room it's beautiful it's air conditioned teak floors this is where i would spend most of my time on this yacht in most any kind of weather You've got wide walkways teak as you can see and they're protected and there's your bow massive anchoring system absolutely ready to go offshore great helm lots of equipment upgrade electronic engine controls and this is some more of the uh, mast for the radar equipment just heavy duty ready to go it was a dry stack that build is now a standard wet stack it's got twin canister life wraps they got dual davits one's a uh, 2500 pound davit and there's seating in the rear for uh, guests there's new bimini top four which is off right now in storage but as you can see, uh, it's got a nice barbecue and uh, a beautiful setup for offshore voyage. You want to go into the Caribbean, you want to go to the Atlantic, you want to go to the Pacific, go to Hawaii, go to New Zealand. This is the boat. Here's your interior. It is classic beauty personified. Beautiful interior. Lots of room. There are the stairs going down to the uh, cabins, the staterooms. Those are your double French doors, they double accordion doors, and they open completely up. You can see the beautiful joiner, very, very tasteful. This is fed ship in all its glory. There's you looking back through the salon and your couch, got a great table, beautiful setup there. Very artistic, of course. Um, and so this is a room you can hang out when the weather doesn't allow you to hang out in the cockpit. Uh, either room is spectacular in my opinion. Beautiful woodwork. It's got great new air conditioning system, nice AV system. Again, stairs down to the, uh, the bedrooms, the state rooms. And they're into the owner's master. It's a full width master. It's wonderful. It's big bed. Good storage. Got its own couch in here. Six foot plus headroom, its own AV system. And all of the heads have converted to marble. It's a beautiful marble upgrade to the bathrooms, the showers. Uh, totally gone through an upgrade completely. Here's guest number one. It's identical to guest number two. They're port and starboard matching. Uh, they all have dressers and mirrors and marble counters and uh, vacuum flush toilets. And this is your uh, second guest room. There's two guests and one master on board. Identical rooms, identical bathrooms, identical storage. And then you're upstairs again through the stairwell. And if you're going forward, here's your stairwell. And your hallway is a beautiful uh, pilot house door. You have access to the pilot house. And it's got pretty good equipment. It's not the most modern, but it's pretty good equipment. You've got a bow thruster and uh, stabilizers and electronic uh, compass, there's your electronic engine controls, your bow thruster, stabilizer control, beautiful uh, upgraded electrical system, and there's weather facts and sideband radios and uh, hailers and new GPS, there's your drawers for your equipment and charts, it's your guest seating, and underneath there's lots of storage, and there's huge in-floor storage compartments also, those are stairs to the bridge. Getting back to the hallway, you're going forward, and you hit this magnificent, totally rebuilt galley. All stainless equipment, two refrigerator, two freezers, stainless counters, new floor. There's an ice maker. There's a stove with oven and microwave. So it's a great galley. And then going forward once more, and these are the windows, opening windows in that hallway. 
You have a room that could be used for a gym, a dining room, an office, a library, you name it. It hasn't been really configured now, so you're back through the hallway. And you make a left turn and down into the crew quarters. And there's a dining table and there's a galley. There's a big dining table. It's a big galley with everything you need in there. There's a second freezer under a counter. There's pull holders here. And then here's your captain's quarters with his head and then upper and lower Pullman bunks with an escape hatch and ladder. There's your upper bunk and your lower bunk and your laundry room. And then to the right is your access to the engine room. What an engine room. You have full walk around through everything. These are conservatively rated Caterpillar engines rebuilt is my understanding about a thousand hours ago. There's your water maker and your sediment and your chargers and your work table. There's three chargers shown here. There's two generators. They've been renewed, actually new generators. There's your chillers and lots of valves and red knobs, easy to find. There's your stabilizers and your uh, hydraulic oil system. And you have a screw uh, generator, up there, a screw compressor, I'm sorry, and a water maker. And an LGX cleaning your filter. And there's some inline filters and your fire system upstairs, reachable from the deck of the stairs. So, Rattleboro, your concierge yacht broker. Love that yacht.com is a Fed Ship 101. Get a hold of me and I will get you on board. Have a great day. Hey.